Helicopters are known to be much more expensive than private jets, but in recent years a number of companies have released much cheaper helicopters that anyone with a license can buy and fly. From those just below $1 million to those that are actually below $3,000, here are the cheapest helicopters that you can get on market. But before we proceed to number one, make sure you have subscribed and clicked the bell icon to stay up to date on amazing videos. With that done, let's get to our incredible list. MD500E, $1.1 million. Although McDonnell Douglas is better known for its airliners than its helicopters, the company nonetheless created the M500, which is one of the world's cheapest helicopters. Hughes Aircraft Company originally designed the MD-500 as a light reconnaissance helicopter for the United States Army. However, Hughes and later McDonnell Douglas appear to have offered the helicopter too low, with the helicopter failing to make a profit and cost overruns occurring on multiple occasions. As a result, the US Army reduced its order, but many news organizations and police departments instead purchased the helicopter. This was because of its high speed, high service ceiling, and good range. Another factor in their decision to purchase it was the fact that it only cost $1.1 million and can accommodate five passengers plus the pilot. Even though most civilians cannot afford a million dollars, many organizations and businesses have easy access to it. L505 Jet Range Jex $1 million. For anyone with money, and the license to operate any of the helicopters. The Bell 505 Jet Range X would be the best choice not only because it is one of the cheapest helicopters on the market, but also because of its specifications, too. Bell discovered in the early 2010s that many of its light helicopters were aging with no replacement in sight. Instead of developing several new light helicopters to replace various helicopters, Bell designed one that can be used for a variety of purposes. In order to fill these roles, you could customize it at the factory. Bell designed it to fly at a speed of 144 miles per hour for a range of 383 miles. On top of this, the Bell 505 is among the world's heaviest helicopters, able to transport 4,475 pounds of cargo, or four people. In order to generate more sales, Bell only charges $1 million for the helicopter. It is used by many countries, including Jamaica, Japan, Montenegro, United States, and Vietnam. Robinson R66 $935,900 The Robinson Helicopter Company is well known for making some of the cheapest helicopters in the world and the R-66 is no exception. Following the success of the R-22 and R-44, Robinson decided to launch a new helicopter. Known as the R-66, this helicopter is a development based on the R-44. Unlike the R-22 and R-44, the R-66 is powered by a turbine rather than a piston. Compared to the R-44, it has a longer fuselage that enables it to accommodate four passengers or 1,000 to 100 pounds of cargo. The R66 also has a longer range and travels faster, with a range of 400 miles and a top speed of 130 miles per hour. The R66 is a utility and training helicopter that costs only $935,900. It began preliminary production in 2010 and reached full production in 2011. It is used by many air forces around the world, including the Nigerian Air Force and the National Disaster Management Authority. Belt 106 $900,000 The Bell Yo 4 was originally intended to be a light reconnaissance helicopter for the US Army, but the Army rejected the helicopter in favor of another Bell design. Several news organizations expressed interest after seeing the Bell Yo 4 specifications but disliking how it looked. Bell quickly redesigned the airframe shell to be more appealing and launched it as the Bell 206. Because of its previous military purpose, the 206 was one of the fastest helicopters at the time as well as having one of the longest ranges. To sweeten the deal, Bell also gave the 206 a low price tag of $900,000. 
Unlike many other helicopters used by news crews, the Bell 206 can transport up to four passengers while only requiring one pilot. It has become quite popular with police forces as pursued helicopters and VIP transport helicopters over time. More than 30 countries around the world use the Bell 206, Sikorsky Schweizer S-333, $698,000. It's no surprise that Sikorsky, the company that invented the first helicopter, has also contributed to the development of one of the world's cheapest helicopters. All thanks to a little assistance from the Schweiz Rare Craft Company. Prior to 2008, Schweizer was working on a new light helicopter that would be used as a personal trainer. However, in 2008, Sikorsky purchased Schweizer and rebranded the helicopter as the S-333. The S-333 was designed by Schweizer to appeal as a general aviation helicopter for the everyday aviator or as a flight school trainer. To accomplish this, the S-333 was designed to be relatively fast with a medium range. To make it more appealing, Schweizer and later Sikorsky set the S-333's price at only $698,000. Because of its low cost, it has become a favorite helicopter trainer for several militaries, including those in Saudi Arabia and the Dominican Republic, Robinson R-44. $505,900. The Robinson Helicopter Company not only designed the Robinson R-66, but also the R-44. However, the R-44 is less expensive than the R-66. Following Robinson's success with the R-22, they decided to improve the engines and rotors while also lengthening the fuselage. This allowed the R-44 to operate with a single crew member while transporting three passengers. As a result, it has become popular among law enforcement agencies, as well as air forces, companies, flying clubs, and general aviation helicopter pilots. Robinson designed the R-44 to travel at a speed of 130 miles per hour over a 350-mile range. To make it even more appealing, Robinson set the R-44 at a low price of $505,900. Enstrom TH-180 for $100,000 Enstrom Helicopters is well known for producing some of the world's best-looking and cheapest helicopters, primarily for trainer and general aviation use. The Enstrom TH-180 is no exception. Following the success of the Enstrom F-28 and 280, Enstrom released a slightly smaller and faster version of the F-28. This helicopter is still in development, but orders are already pouring in. Because of this, Enstorm has not released the full specs for the TH-180, including speed and range, despite the fact that they have stated that it will have a longer range and travel faster. Because of its low operating costs and low price tag at only $400,000, the TH-180 has become a favorite of flight schools as a trainer, Enstrom F-28. $360,000. The F-28 is not only one of the world's cheapest helicopters, but it is also one of the longest produced aircraft. The F-28 is primarily used as a general aviation helicopter or as a helicopter trainer. In the United States, helicopter use spread rapidly in the late 1950s. With this, Many people, including then mining engineer Rudolf J. Rudy Enstrom, tried to create their own helicopters. Unlike his peers, he noticed that there weren't many affordable, basic helicopters available. In order to serve as a military helicopter trainer, he created an incredibly simple helicopter. It eventually turned into a mainstay of general aviation. This was due to the fact that the F-28's incredibly low at a price of $360,000. The F-28 airframe shell was redesigned in 1975 to be more aerodynamic. The aircraft is used by many militaries in North America and is operated by a large number of small commercial and flight training operators. Gimbal Cabri G2 $350,000 Airbus is well known for creating some of the most inventive helicopter designs ever seen. In the late 1980s, 
Mr. Gimbel, a former engineer for Eurocopter, went it alone and built one of the cheapest helicopters. The Gimbel G2 was designed to be the ideal general aviation helicopter and trainer aircraft. To accomplish this, he made the G2 one of the world's smallest helicopters while also equipping it with one of the most powerful piston engines that can fit in a helicopter of that size. He also made sure that the G2 was as light as possible, opting for lighter materials over cheaper, heavier alternatives. This gives the G2 a cruise speed of 104 miles per hour and a range of 430 miles. All of these specifications are available from Gimbal at a low price of only $350,000. Robinson R22 $328,000 The R22 serves as the foundation for Robinson's R44 and R66 helicopters. The R-22 helicopter is the cheapest of all Robinson helicopters. Prior to the mid-1970s, almost no civilian-owned helicopters existed, and as televisions became more popular, news crews around the world began to demand a low-cost helicopter for filming. One of the people to hear this was Frank Robinson. He decided to design a small helicopter with a high-service ceiling that could carry two people and several different cameras in various positions. At the time, many of his competitors were more expensive and had poor specs. So in order to sell more, Robinson sold the R-22, a better helicopter at a lower price. Today, that price is roughly $328,000 to $100. Healy Walla Falina, $120,000. Since its debut in 2016, the Afalina has been dubbed the world's cheapest helicopter. This is partly true because it is one of the cheapest to buy and operate. For years, helicopter manufacturers have considered developing a low-cost helicopter. Many of the aforementioned helicopters are attempts at such, but they have never been widely available to the general public. Healy Wall decided to try this in 2015 when they released a mock-up of a two-seat helicopter with one crew and one passenger for less than $120,000. Healy Wall received several orders for the helicopter due to its low price and specifications. At $120,000, you get a helicopter with a range of 470 miles and a top speed of 120 miles per hour. Brantley B2 $100,000 While it may not appear to be much, the Brantley B2 is the world's cheapest helicopter. It is generally regarded as a complete failure but it has excelled in at least one price-related aspect. In 1946, the United States Army Air Corps wanted a new light reconnaissance helicopter. One of the independent designers who applied for the job was Brantley, a man who wanted to build his own helicopter empire. However, because the Army's design specs were too complicated for him to design, Brantley decided to create a helicopter that would appeal to private aviation enthusiasts. The Brantley B-2 was the end result. Brantley built the entire helicopter on price, giving it lower specifications than competitors while selling it for an incredibly low price of $100,000. It has sold over 330 times since its introduction in 1958. Mosquito Helicopters Less than $3,000 Mosquito helicopters were designed to meet the requirements of the United States for 103 ultralight vehicles, including the category's maximum empty weight of 254 pounds. They have a single main rotor and tail rotor, a single seat with an open cockpit with or without a windshield, skid landing gear, and a two-cylinder air-cooled two-stroke 64 horsepower Zanza Tirams 202 engine. The ultralight legal Mosquito are only allowed to carry 5 gallons of fuel and thus have a range of only 60 miles. The Z can carry 12 gallons of fuel and thus has a range of 150 miles. The entire Mosquito kit costs $20,000 and if you think the minimalist Mosquito leaves you vulnerable, there's the fully enclosed Mosquito Z, which costs $23,000 per unit. Building the kits will take you about 200 to 300 hours, or you can have the plane built for you for a flat $4,000.
getting airborne for under $20,000 in your own new helicopter is quite an accomplishment. We are not aware of any other helicopter in this price range, and both Mosquito variants have extremely low maintenance and operating costs. You can actually begin building your Mosquito for much less because the kit is sold in bite-sized chunks, with the first kit group, the Frame Kit, selling for only $2,995.